My wife is the one that grew up here and we met in college at Mansfield University and we would make trips back and forth between Mansfield and Montrose and I started to get a feel for her hometown. I came from Allentown, Pennsylvania and I really liked the small town of Montrose. The Endless Mountains have kind of like fascinated me. I moved away for a time with, with Brenda. We moved away to Columbus, Ohio and the whole time that I was in Columbus, I was writing stories about the Northern Tier, about the Endless Mountains, about Montrose. Um, so I knew that there was something there that, that I could write. Um, and then eventually we made the decision to come back to Montrose. A long, long time ago, I, I knew that this collection of poetry was going to be called Public Avenue because I feel like this is such an important um, street in our town. When I think of Public Avenue, I think of parades going up, you know, up Public Avenue in front of the courthouse. Um, I think of, you know, the, the theater being on Public Avenue. I think of all the pictures I've seen um, of, from the history of Montrose of the courthouse and Public Avenue and how it's changed over the years. But I also wanted to get a sense of the people um, that make up this town. Some of the people in the past, some of the people that are still around here and make Montrose what it is today. Um, so you'll, you'll see poems about some artists, you'll see poems about Isaac Post in this. Um, there's a poem about John Corrigan, who was uh, an herb medicine man that came through Montrose, and I read an obituary about him. He just fascinated me, and I was kind of trying to capture what it, something about his person in a poem. I've been long intrigued by the, the courthouse in Montrose. It's such an imposing structure. When I'm teaching To Kill a Mockingbird with my students in ninth grade, I oftentimes am reminded of, of the similarities between To Kill a Mockingbird and the setting in Alabama and the setting here in Montrose. Six white columns shoulder a weighty pediment looking down upon Public Avenue, a bold Greek revival the architecture of justice, of government. Much like the courthouse of Lee's Mockingbird, reread Scout's description, you'll see too. Replete with clock tower, measuring the hours, reminding us to gather rosebuds to seize the day. For others, a scolding for time ill spent and debts to be paid. I think the, the movie theater for me has been an, an interesting thing to kind of see over the years. Our, our movie theater is almost 100 years old at this point, and I wanted to find a way to, to mention something about our, our movie theater and what it means to Montrose. Our theater is special, they say. Something about the box office, its location, front and center, but I've never really understood. It's a humble building, to be sure, only hinting at its Art Deco lineage in the year 1920, when everything, maybe even here, began to roar. I started out with short stories, but over time, I, I really switched the poetry because I could talk more directly about the landmarks and about the people. And instead of creating fictional um, characters, I could use real people um, and, and highlight these people that make Montrose what it is. Ask most people and they will say, Jim Olin led an upright life. He'd cut your hair at a fair price, but look closely and you will see his shop stood a little crooked. And, and I think that's the overall um, goal of this book of poetry, to kind of celebrate small town life, to celebrate Montrose as the, the county seat of the, the Susquehanna County. I'm hoping that by writing this book, people that have lived here all their lives will see something in a new way. Um, and, and something that they encounter every day that, that seems maybe ordinary or has lost some of its special um, characteristics will seem new to them. Um, for outsiders, people that are coming to visit Montrose, I think the book serves as a nice introduction to this small town and some of the things that, in terms of traditions and the customs that we have and some of the, the places that we hold dear to our heart here um, in Montrose, Pennsylvania.